Hello, this is Mr. Ahmed and today we'll do lesson 3.3 Skip count on a number line And our essential question is How can you use a number line to skip count and find how many in all? Okay, so let's unlock the problem Caleb wants to make three balls of yarn for his cat to play with He uses six feet of yarn to make each ball how many feet of yarn does Caleb need in all? So here, how many equal groups of yarn will Caleb make? So Caleb wants to make three balls of yarn. The three balls each is six feet of yarn. So it's like three groups. Each is six feet. Okay, so they are three equal groups. These are the three balls. How many feet of yarn will be in each group? Yeah, each group he will use six feet of yarn. Here, what do you need to find? What we need to find is how many feet of yarn does Caleb need in all? So here, right, how many feet of yarn Caleb needs okay so here we will use a number line to count equal groups let's see how so here he says how many feet of yarn does Caleb need for each ball for each ball six feet how many equal lengths of yarn does he need so each ball he needs six feet he needs three balls so three length each length is six feet so he will need three equal lengths okay so here's how we do it begin at zero skip count by sixes by drawing jumps on the number line so we begin with a zero. First jump is six the second jump six more so one two three four five six we'll go to the twelve okay the third jump another six one two three four five six so we'll go to the eighteen so how many jumps did you make i made three jumps why because they are three lengths or three balls so this is the first ball the second ball the third ball so for the three balls he will need 18 feet so how long is each jump each jump is six feet okay so multiply three by six it will be equal to 18 so three groups of six first group 6 second group it will be 12 third group they will be 18 all together so 3 times 6 is 18 so Caleb needs 18 feet of yarn in all so that's how we do it guys if we need 3 multiply 6 we can do 3 jumps each jump is 6 okay so for example if it's four times eight we can do four jumps each jump is eight and so on okay so here why did you jump by sixes on the number line we jump it by sixes because each pole is six feet of yarn so we need three poles so we'll jump by six three times. Okay, now share and show. Skip count by drawing jumps on the number line. Find how many in five jumps of four. Then write the product. Okay, so here, this is the first jump. We have four. And four more. Each jump is of four. So one, two, three, four. It will be 8 
okay so four more one two three four we'll have 12 so these are three jumps we need five jumps so two jumps more so one two three four this is the fourth jump one jump more one two three four so we'll go to the 20 so 20 is our answer so here we have five jumps or we can say five groups so five groups times each jump is four so it's times four so five times four what is the answer it's 20 okay here draw jumps on the number line to show equal groups find the product so three groups of eight means three jumps so groups here will be jumps so three jumps of eight so each jump is eight so we'll start from the zero and the first jump will be eight the second jump eight more so one two three four five six seven eight it's sixteen the third jump eight more so one two three four five six seven eight it will be twenty four so three jumps of eight or three times eight is twenty four okay here eight groups of three so eight jumps of three so eight jumps guys so the first jump is three the second one two three it will be six another three one two three it will be nine another three one two three it will be twelve one two three fifteen here we did how many jumps one two three four five we still need three more jumps so one two three 18 two more jumps 1 2 3 21 last jump 1 2 3 24 so it's 5 6 7 8 jumps so 8 jumps of 3 we have 24 so it's 8 times 3 is 24 if you notice something guys 3 groups of 8 or 8 groups of 3 both equals 24 and this is a property like the addition it's like when you add 2 plus 3 equals 5 3 plus 2 also equals 5 in multiplication also the same thing happens so 3 times 8 will be the same as 8 times 3 both of them equals 24 okay here write the multiplication sentence shown by the number line so as you can see the first jump is 9 and the second jump he went to 18 he added another 9 so it's two jumps of 9 or two groups of 9 so two jumps each jump is 9 so 2 times 9 is 18 okay guys hope you understand this lesson well goodbye